Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss how to include JavaScript in Apex. In this example, we are going to use jQuery, you know, uh, from Apex 4 and onward, jQuery is an integrated part of Apex. And we are going to uh, we are going to discuss an example. That example uses jQuery. We need need not do anything about it, but we have to uh, just write the code in jQuery, and it will work like that. And we're going to uh, see how to write, how to write the uh, JavaScript, and how can we use the JavaScript file to incorporate our JavaScript activities in Apex. So let's begin with our example today. Uh, you see. Uh, we have two types of deployment here. One is uh, ORDS in Apache Tomcat and one is EPG that is here. It is embedded PLSQL gateway. And we are going to show a uh, different type of JavaScript inclusion in a different type of deployment because uh, one deployment does not work in others. And we are going to show you why. So let us begin with our demonstration. Uh, see in our in, our, in our earlier examples in the department uh, DML form page in the field of department name here. Now today we're gonna uh, show a simple JavaScript demonstration where the uh, whatever you write, whatever you type in the keyboard, it will become uppercase. Okay, automatically. And we're gonna do nothing in uh, our computation or anything else. We're just gonna make it um, uppercase on the fly. So let's begin with our demonstration. What can we do? Uh, see, this is the uh, department name field. Whenever we uh, type. Whenever we type. Uh, anything in our in the department name field, it will automatically convert to uppercase. So let's begin with our demonstration. Go to page three. Here, go, go here. We are going to edit the page. In the uh, page portion, we're going to change it. Okay. Now come to JavaScript. Here, what you're going to do is here, see, here, here's the function we have written earlier. This is the function, and take a look at this very uh, nicely. And if you need, you just pause the video and watch it, what is written here. Uh, this is the JavaScript file, uh, JavaScript function. Yeah, you know, here, here's the function, mm, function upper this, and this is the uh, jQuery code, what you which you do in JavaScript uh, functions. So you uh, look at this uh, function. It's a very simple function. You look at this very carefully. Uh, this one. Now we're gonna copy this portion to here. You know here. Okay, our JavaScript function has been copied. Now apply changes. Okay. Now what you have to do is you have to tell, you have to uh, make changes in the department name field so that whenever you type that JavaScript function comes to effect. Now what you have to do is uh, edit now let's move to element tab here you see you have to mention this one on key press is equal to write the function name that we defined in the javascript portion now apply changes okay now let's run it Now let's see it carefully. You see, mm, look at here. 
my caps log is on now my caps log is off so that is all the items will be in lower case but the uh, function will convert it to upper case so see this is converted see very carefully the function has, is converting to upper case see this is all done by jquery and again and again this is done by you see by jquery so our javascript is working perfectly now comes the question if i want to incorporate a javascript file itself what can i do here uh, we have just uh, defined a function in javascript portion now if we want to uh, include this function in a file and we want to store it in the server then how can we reference this function from there so let's delete this one here now what you have to do since we are in the uh, apache tomcat deployment so we will have to deploy uh, the javascript file in apache tomcat server you see this is the this is the myjs.js file which is the javascript file i have uh, deployed it in uh, in web apps i and here is my folder my files and here is the uh, javascript file called myjs.js see we have done nothing here only the function you see we have just uh, copied the function here only okay now here is the uh, file now we're going to reference this file in our apex page how do we do that we just only do it because it's in the i folder so you have to write down uh, uh, remember it very carefully image prefix image prefix then my files my files then my js dot js remember this very carefully why i have written here image prefix because it is in the uh, web server you know web server i folder that's why it is written here as image prefix and we're gonna show in our different deployment how to refer this file in that case also now we have to do just apply changes you see no function is written here it is only in the javascript files now let's run it let's see what happens okay let's see if it works yes it's working see so this way you can incorporate javascript files with the apex and also you can incorporate javascript function in the page itself so now it uh, concludes our demonstration of uh, javascript uh, inclusion in ords in apache tomcat now if we do the same in our if we do the same in our epg deployment what we are going to do okay now let's apply changes now he see this is our epg deployment here you are going to do the things differently okay now you have to go to shared component okay static application file okay now we're going to upload choose a file my js open upload 
okay this is you have to remember this one app images that means this image this javascript file will work only for this application okay now let's copy this one let's copy this one and let's move to page 3 page 3 now let's edit in javascript portion go to javascript you know if we uh, write the function here it will work it is uh, no problem with that but now if i want to uh, mention the url here now it will be like this okay app images my js dot js supply changes let's see if it works or not Remember, this is only applicable for EPG deployment. Let's see if it works. Yeah. Yes, this is working. Okay. So for EPG deployment, you have to do is you have to go to shared component. Then, yeah, we have uh, actually de deployed it in static application files. We could also do this for static workspace files. this means this deployment this javascript file will work uh, for any application in this workspace okay upload now you see here is the different location now copy this one copy now we're going to change the url differently which is this you see it was earlier it was app images and now it is workspace image that is it means it will work for the application itself only only for the application and it will work only for the uh, workspace and any application of this workspace so we're going to check this one also okay now apply changes now run it okay see see this is working perfectly this is a very simple demonstration we have shown how to uh, incorporate javascript in apex and then we uh, shown you have shown you how to how to deploy the javascript file in the apex so this hope this demonstration will help you how to incorporate javascript with apex thank you for watching thank you everybody